Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for October 7th. So, let's get started. First day in history! On this day in history, October 7th, 1765, the Stamp Act Congress convened in New York. Delegates from nine of the 13 colonies gathered to discuss and act upon the Stamp Act recently imposed by the British. The meetings adopted a Declaration of Rights and Grievances and wrote letters or petitions opposing the tax to the King and both Houses of Parliament. Also, on this day in 1944, the Dumberton Oaks Conference concluded in Washington, D.C. At the conference, representatives from the United States, China, the Soviet Union, and the United Kingdom developed ideas for a world organization that would become the United Nations the next year. And on this day in 1954, Marian Anderson became the first African-American singer hired by New York's Metropolitan Opera. In 1939, when the Daughters of the American Revolution, the DAR, refused to allow her to perform at Constitution Hall in Washington, D.C., Eleanor Roosevelt, President Franklin Roosevelt's wife, resigned her DAR membership in protest and sponsored Anderson's concert at the Lincoln Memorial. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about one of my favorite snacks, the bagel. The word bagel comes from a Yiddish word which means ring or bracelet. Have you ever tried to wear a bagel as a bracelet? Well, that might get a little messy, especially if you've already spread the cream cheese on it. Now, bagels were first invented in Poland in the early 1600s and were eaten by women to give them strength when they were giving birth. Immigrants brought bagel recipes to New York, and Manhattan is still famous for its bagel shops. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the oldest living tree on the planet? The answer is the bristlecone pine tree. Bristlecone pines can live to be 5,000 years old. They grow in the western United States, and many scientists say that bristlecone pines are the oldest single living organism on the planet. Health tips. Your hands are busy all day long. You use them to carry, catch, throw, tie, push, pull, buckle, button, grab, grasp, pick, pass, and peel, and more. They're always in contact with the outside world. So they pick up more germs than any other part of your body. Now, if there are germs on your hands and you rub your eyes or you put your finger in your mouth or nose, germs can slip inside your body. But if you wash your hands several times a day, especially before eating, you can help protect yourself from these tiny invaders. I dive in Did you know that almost one half of the Earth's land surface used to be covered by forests? Today, half of those forests have been cut down to make space for farms, houses, and industries. Some forests are also cut down so the trees can be made into paper, wood products, and firewood. Now, all of those are important reasons for cutting trees. But what about the plants and animals that lived in those forests? There are lots of ways to slow down the cutting of trees. One great way is to have a paper recycling program at your school. You can also buy paper at the store that is made from recycled paper. Look on the package for the words made from 100% post-consumer waste. That means that it was made from paper recycled through programs like your school's recycling program. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>